Hey all, uh, Guy Ferdman here, and I uh, I don't make a lot of these kind of videos for you guys. So um, hey, if I'm making it, it's because I feel internally that it's something uh, crucial and important. Uh, and number two, it's I actually enjoy this, and it's uh, you know because of what we share inside the group and in terms of your personal and spiritual development outside um, you know other interests that Elon and I have uh, may not always get shared. In this group, um, and I'll just speak for me here. You know, like I am a uh, a, a learner. I'm, I'm a person that likes to be educated and a researcher. And I am uh, also married to a woman who is a a mountain of of wealth of information, and also likes to do um, very scientific research and so uh, just tend to be pretty well versed in a lot of other areas of life. And, and you know, like many of you, uh, I'm sure. Uh, areas of interest in my life are, are fitness and health, uh, nutrition, wealth building, investment, cryptocurrency, things of this nature. Uh, in this particular video, I wanted to uh, focus on health. And I want to just let you know, personally, um, as myself, uh, for the people that I spend time with, I'm talking personal friends, teachers, colleagues, etc. Um, we, as a community, have an internal focus on wealth building and alignment around health. So not just spiritual and mental health, but physical health. And I've just watched a lot of people go through um, a lot of growth and also transitions uh, in this time with their money and their health and stuff like that. And um, right now, the reason I'm making this video is I wanna let you know that uh, humanity is on the precipice of just incredible things in the health space. And I wanna introduce you to something that I just started doing that I've also seen people around me now do, some of our family members, and I've seen just uh, tremendous changes in people's habits, uh, systems, lifestyles by following one simple thing. And I'm going to introduce you to this one simple thing. But before I do, um, Tony Robbins and Peter Diamante, who is a founder of um, XPRIZE and a, a genius in his own right. Tony obviously needs no introduction. I'm not a huge follower of Tony's work. I, I've, I've done his programs and stuff like that. They don't, they're not super in alignment with me. However, I appreciate him as a person. I, I dated uh, a girl for five years who ran his platinum programs. I know his, you know, his community uh, reasonably well, intimately in that way. Um, and I've got a, a look behind the scenes. And you know, Tony, without a doubt, has done a lot of great work. So I'm, I'm mentioning this because they just came out with a book called Life Force, which is a preview of where medical science is and, and also where it's going, uh, how you can help yourself in ways that you probably can't even imagine that you can help your body and people in your family right now alleviate pain and, and uh, rehabilitate things that have seemed in the past like they were incurable or non, uh, you know, like you couldn't recover from them. And so the reason I say this is because it's clear to me that over the next 10 or 15 years, uh, we will reach what is known as escape velocity. So right now we're at a point where for about a, every year's worth of medical science that is done, uh, we are getting back a quarter year of our lives okay so for every year of medical science that is done you can now get about a quarter year back of life meaning you can de-age yourself about a quarter of a year it is estimated that in 12 years we will hit what's called escape velocity which is the point where for every year of medical science we get back one year of our lives and uh, we are already uh, at the forefront of uh, seeing aging as a disease uh, of, of some very, very interesting science being done where they are completely able to control the age of mice and now in chimpanzees, restore function to organs and all sorts of interesting things. I won't bore you with that. But the reason I say this is because if that is where humanity is heading, uh, it could be that in your and my lifetime that we can start anticipating that people won't live 80 or 90 years, but perhaps will live to 120 and 160 years or maybe even beyond. And it's, I think, prudent to start um, planning not only life, but psychology for a life well beyond where many of us thought that we could be. Because if you could apply business acumen, health acumen, um, you know, and somebody takes 30, 40, 50 years to master that, we may have people on the planet who have an opportunity to master an area of life for 60, 70, 80, maybe 100 years of life. And so we're all going to go through I believe some some pretty progressive transformations here, um, especially as it comes to the forefront. And this is kind of leads me into this conversation with you guys, which is glucose. And glucose does not seem 
they're sexy on the surface. Uh, but if you start re researching glucose and sugar, um, you'll probably, if you don't already know that sugar is more or less pretty much a, a poisonous uh, byproduct when you put it in the body. Um, our body certainly needs sugar and gets it from fruit. Also turns all carbohydrates that you eat into sugar. Uh, but sugar in the way that it's being consumed by most people is aggressively causing disease in their body. Um, and uh, of course with insulin resistance and stuff like that, you can see really big problems. And so glucose is extremely fundamental to your health. Uh, it is something that is not really taught to the medical medical community, certainly not in the U S at least not in the way of why it's so critically important. Nutrition is not really taught to medical science. In fact, if you think about what medical science is, um, mostly it is dealing with a very specific symptom and how to relieve that symptom without really much consideration for what relieving it in that way uh, is doing to the rest of the body. And so obviously we have a lot of medicines out there that um, can create chemical reactions in the body. And that's also why we have all these crazy side effects, right? So if you're gonna put a chemical in the body, you're gonna get a side effect. That's just what happens when you use chemicals, you get side effects and that's whether in the body or outside of the body. So uh, why is glucose so important? Well. Glucose causes inflammation. And today we are starting to recognize that most diseases, heart disease, um, many cancers, if not, you know, outside the ones that are more genetically predispositioned, Parkinson's, these are all inflammatory diseases and actually have more or less the same protocols to heal them, which uh, in a lot of circles that I've run into, even with cancer, um, you know, alkalinity in the body, drinking a lot of green juices, stuff like this. There's a amazing hospital down in um, Tijuana, just south of the San Diego border named Chipsa um, that has been healing people even with stage four cancer, just using alkalinity protocols, which is essentially just large dosing organic green juices for people and taking them off of anything that would cause inflammatory and people go into remission, um, even from very, very severe cancers using these protocols. So glucose and understanding glucose is really important. Most of us think that glucose is not really a problem until we're pre-diabetic or diabetic or stuff like that. But the honest truth is, is that we are told what are healthy foods, what are non-healthy foods. We're given study after study of this and that, and that, you know, science can agree upon this and can't agree upon that. But here's the reality, just like your individual version and view and perspective of reality is your own. This body, this temple that you have is also your own. And while one person, you know, may eat some rice and only see a very small spike in glucose. Another person may eat rice and see a huge spike in glucose. And, and that probably comes down to uh, your genetic makeup, your lineage and where you came from on the planet and what your people ate for probably thousands of years and were genetically predispositioned to eating. And as we have started to move over the last century all over the planet, um, not only have we moved away from seasonal foods, um, which creates all sorts of potential problems, uh, even with vegetables that um, have oxalates and can actually poison you. Uh, this is just what, what certain vegetables do at certain periods of the year, they release more oxalates. And this is to uh, prevent animals from eating the plant at certain times of the year. Um, so, you know, all these little things that people don't pay attention to. And if you went to your doctor and you asked them uh, about glucose and to get a, um, like a monitoring over glucose, most doctors wouldn't even understand why you would want any sort of continuity or continuous measurement of glucose levels. And I hope that that's something that, that really changes because again, whether you are perfectly healthy or you seem perfectly healthy or whether you uh, are somebody who's pre-diabetic or diabetic right now, of course, um, those people are more inclined to get glucose readings, but even most diabetics are not getting continuous moment by moment uh, glucose readouts. They're just pricking their finger and they're seeing where their glucose levels is before a meal and then a few hours after a meal. And so uh, this magical thing can happen to your insight about your own well-being, your health, your mood, your energy, when you have continuous tracking of glucose and in the future we'll have continuous tracking of lots and lots more things. And for those of you guys who are wearing aura rings, you already know the value and, you know, tracking your HRV and your body temperature and things of this nature. But obviously as technology um, expands and we get more uh, 
democratization when it comes to our medical science. We're also going to get a lot more democratization over having authority over our own body instead of having to go to a, a doctor who specializes in symptomology and is not necessarily dealing with the source of what's going on. And so the source of many, many problems that people are having, in my personal opinion, due to with my research, again, do your own. This is a not a paid advertisement here by any stretch of the uh, imagination for myself or any product here um, is, is glucose, is understanding how food is impacting your body. And so I wanted to introduce you to something really quick. I'm not affiliated with this company in any way, shape or form. I'm not going to get uh, any sort of money for this. So just keep that in mind. I'm literally doing this because I think it's the right thing to do. And I think this could benefit you and your family greatly. So um, on the back of my arm here, you can see this little patch. Underneath this patch, it's a little harder to tell because of lack of contrast, is a sensor with a small needle. It doesn't actually hurt when it goes in. Um, that just sits on the back of your arm. These sensors work for two straight weeks. And what the sensor allows me to do is to get a continuous glucose reading out of my body. Okay, So it is attached to an application on my phone to scan it. I just use the NFC, near field communication device, on the back of my phone. It goes like this and it will give me a readout. So right now my readout is 112, and this is about an hour after I had a, um, a protein shake, maybe a little bit less. So usually there's that, and then there's, a uh, can't really see it here because of the white, but there's a little, there you go, kind of like chart over here that shows you that. And what you're looking for with glucose is this really actually like even chart. My chart does not look like this every day, by the way. If I eat something sweet, there's a big spike. If I eat too much, there's a big spike. Um, and to my surprise out the gate, my glucose levels were actually much higher than I anticipated they would be. Okay. So that, that app right there is just a glucose readout. And you might say, okay, well, even if I have that, how is that functional? And that that's a good point. Cause it's just something that does require a little bit of research on your part to understand where are glucose levels, where do I actually want to be? And what do I look for? And so enters this company. So this is called uh, Libre something that that app I just showed you. It's uh, easy to get. The sensors are a little bit more challenging to get, but that's changing right now. And I want to introduce you to this company called Levels. Okay. And that's what this little emblem is on the back of here too. So the first sensor I got, it was not attached to Levels at all. Uh, Levels is a company that's coming along and they are providing an app uh, that reads the data from this glucose and then gives you feedback and information over it. Now, I'm not gonna tell you this information is gonna change your life overnight, but it's certainly gonna make you uh, way more aware. I've seen now a, a handful of our family members um, who look very healthy, one that's pre-diabetic um, and found out, and then a few others that have made some significant uh, different choices um, in their life and, and how they're eating. Because once you see the impact the food actually has on your body, you know, maybe you're eating an apple a day and you don't realize that that's actually having your glucose spike 50 or 80 points, which is wildly unhealthy. Maybe you have perceived that you're anemic or have low blood pressure. And what you really have is a glucose issue. And, um, and, and so your some of that symptomology may feel, uh, like anemia or low blood pressure. And maybe those are still going on, but if you don't take care of the glucose situation, um, and understand how do I, uh, maintain it at a certain level, at least for most of the day, I could start seeing why I'm having these inflammatory responses or energy dips or mood swings or all these different things. And so Levels is a uh, an app that's still kind of in beta and being further developed out um, in order to give you as much usable feedback on what the foods you're eating and the glucose uh, that you're consuming, what it's actually doing. So you can enter like a food log. I ate at this time and it will tell you, Hey, you know, this food spiked your glucose by 30 milligrams per deciliter. And it took you uh, 45 minutes outside of your average band or two hours out. And you can see like some foods really take you out for a long time. Some foods take you out for a very, very short period of time. And so again, to me, given what I told you about where healthcare is going the next 10 to 15 years on this earth, depending on what age you are, what your goals are and where you wanna be, we may get to a point between stem cell research, nanotechnology, what's happening right now, the bioengineering, genetics and everything else that we really may have a choice to live much, much longer than any of us ever expected that we would, perhaps even in perpetuity as they start understanding consciousness better and how to upload and download information from our brains. Like, you know, we are very quickly moving towards um, a sci-fi 
science fiction type of future that's going to become science fact uh, much more rapidly than any of us anticipate. You know, the, the type of uh, technologies that we are seeing on the rise right now between quantum computer, fusion and energy, uh, nanotechnology, um, lots and lots of other things that are going to precipitate and, and become quite normal in our reality over this next decade. I think we are uh, about to see some huge revolutions um, and not only spirituality, but as far as uh, human democratization and, and the power that we have under over our own lives, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a Google for your individual health that's AI based um, so that you can literally search because eventually uh, AI will be able to track every heartbeat, your ongoing HRV, body temperature, and uh, as well as a slew of, of organic material like glucose and alcohol and other things in your bloodstream moment by moment. And for me, if I had a choice between going to a doctor that went to medical school for four years or an AI system that knew every heartbeat that you've ever had your entire life and could look at a billion papers at one time and give you uh, detailed instructions about what current science thinks is the best modality for you, I would choose the AI every single time. Um, and, and like Tony Robbins says in that book, we're at a point right now where the data that's compounding about human uh, and, and the medicinal areas and, and homeopathy and stuff like that is beginning to go to that compounding effect, just like when money compounds. Um, and so our, our, our knowledge is growing so rapidly that what a medical science uh, scientist would learn in in medical school within 72 days right now is nearly obsolete. Just wrap your head around that. Okay. So if you're a doctor and you completed school, that means that what you learned by the end of the year has been four times over made obsolete. It's pretty fucking crazy if you ask me. So what does this company do? So they will provide you. So it's $199 per year for access to the app. I think the app has a lot of work to do, but it's in early developmental stages. And you could see even since I've gone in in a week, they've made a few um, noticeable upgrades to it. And then you could pay $199 a month. And what's in this box da, 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 is these two Libre Link sensors, right? So, so what happens is you get the sensor, you put it in the back of your arm, you scan it with your phone, Libre Link, and then Libre will send the data to Levels and Levels will help you um, begin making some decisions or understanding what that data is actually doing. Does everybody need that app? Probably not. But if you are not a researcher like me and you don't want to do a lot of the back end work, then it's definitely going to help you because it's it's a centralized way. And I think for $199 a year, that's a pretty uh, low bar. Uh, each sensor is good for 14 days. That $199, again, they're giving to you at the same value. I got it when I bought it myself. Um, will last you 14 days. So this is 28 days worth of scanning. This is the one I bought prior to getting levels. And now I'm just trying out the levels app. So I'm just telling you this because I think for most consumers, this is way more approachable. It makes it easy to find these sensors where I actually have to do uh, quite a bit of backflips to try to get these sensors because they uh, it does say prescription only on the bottom. But again, like that's because the way the medical community looks at this right now is like you should only have this if you're a diabetic or something like that, where every single person, I can't imagine anybody who wouldn't get value from understanding what glucose is doing in their body, especially in a continuous manner like this. And of course, then you can avoid pricking your finger or doing stuff like that, which still is not going to give you the, the chart the way that this does. So I wanted to tell you guys this again, because just like I said, in, in my peer group, we really care about wealth building. We really care about each other's health and we mastermind on these things uh, quite regularly because there's only so much information and time a single person have has and sharing ideas, sharing knowledge um, is a way to get really important things out there for people to make a decision on their own and find out if it's worth their time. So um, highly, highly recommended, even if you have a question about your health, even if you want to optimize your health, or even if you are really struggling with your health, this is probably a really, really good place to start. This could help you with your sleep. This could help you with your energy. This could help you with your mood. There's really like nothing that this can't assist you with. So I thought it was really, really important to uh, make a video about this. If you want to get information on this, you go to levelshealth.com, okay? Levelshealth.com. And if you go on there, you're gonna see that you have to request access to this. So listen to me good here. If you go to levelshealth.com forward slash Hyman, H-Y-M-A-N, you'll see a specific page there that Dr. Hyman, who has a very prominent podcast, 
about health on there. He actually had the, um, the founder of this company uh, on his uh, podcast recently, and they created their own landing page for him. If you go through that Hyman link, so forward slash Hyman, you can skip the line and just get instant access to this without having to uh, wait for them to get access or whatever it might be. So I'll put that link above. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've made some other ones in the past about cryptocurrency and how to get involved with that. If you're interested in that as well, um, I can dig that out from wherever it is and, and find that for you as well. Just, just drop comments below on anything we can serve you with. Um, I hope you find this well. I hope this is interesting for you. I hope you understand where I'm coming from um, and why I'm dropping this here uh, and why I'm dropping it right now. And if you haven't done research on these things, I mean, Again, we're heading towards a really incredible place in human society. I know the news will make it seem like the world is coming to an end every 15 seconds, but that's just how they get eyeballs. Um, there are certainly bad things happening in the world. And if we had news channels that followed all the good things that were happening in the world, I think we would all see that on a day to day, there's probably a lot more good than bad happening on this planet. People do care about each other. People do want the best for each other. People do want peace and health and love and safety and well-being and connection. And that's just, it's honestly biologically built in. So anywhere where we're not seeing that in society, we want to ask ourselves a question about how we are under-resourcing people that's putting them in situations that's having them show up other than their true nature. And our true nature is a loving nature. So, um, you know, we want to investigate within ourselves where that's arising. We want to investigate in society where that's arising. And instead of making it wrong or villainizing it, we want to look at, okay, you know, how can we make this better? How can we work these parts in our own system and bring safety and well-being into our system? Because if you can't do it for yourself, you can't do it for others. Okay. Love you guys very much. Hope this was useful. Um, there's only so much I can answer to you about this, but again, if you really want to start investigating your own health in this very incredible, crucial way, I highly recommend uh, Levels Health. Love you guys. Happy Monday.